So now we're going to explore type handler. And we're looking at the, um, the handler interface here. And this is central to the HTTP package. So let's look at it. It says type handler is an interface. So an interface is defining functionality. It's saying if any other type has a method with this signature, then it is also of type interface. The joke I like to use, you've heard me say it before, is an interface says, hey baby, if you've got this, if you have this method, you're my type. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's catchy. It'll help it stick in your brain, even if it is a little bit cornball. An interface says, hey, baby, if you've got this method, then you are also my type. So any other type that has that method, serve HTTP, is also type interface. And it needs serve HTTP with the response writer. Let's just open that in a new window and a pointer to request. A response writer, type response writer, right? Header returns, header, write, slice a byte, int error, write header, right? So, okay, type response writer and type request. So, this is going to write the response, and this is going to, you know, we have a request in the web. There's a request, comes in from the client to the server, and then the server's gonna write a response. Hang on. <laughs> Type handler is saying, look man, I'm gonna serve some HTTP. A request is gonna come in, I'm gonna write the response. So listen and serve is saying, look, what address do you want me to serve on? Give me a handler. That's what listen and serve is saying. I listen and serve. And then the handler, I know how to serve HTTP. So look at how they're working together. Listen and serve is saying, what address do you want me to TCP this thing on? 8080? So you give it that, and then you say, how do you want me to do it? Give me a handler, I'll do it. And then you give it the handler. What's the handler do? Handle, handler handles the request and handles the writing the response. So listen and serve is listening on this port and it knows how to serve with the handler. The handler is going to handle it. It's going to handle the request and handle writing the response. It needs this method to be a handler. It needs the method serve HTTP with those two parameters of values of that type being passed in as arguments. All right. So what does that look like in functionality? Let's see. Uh, HP listen and serve. What's one? Wants an address, colon eighty eighty. And it wants a handler. I don't know. I'm gonna call mine. Hot dog. Cool. I'm going to create type hot dog int. Whatever. How do I attach a method to a type? I'm going to call this nothing yet. I'll just do nil. 
Okay, so create a method for a type func. A function has a signature. Keyword func. Receiver, optional. Identifier. Params. Return or returns code. So I'm going to do func. And it's going to be hot dog. That's my receiver. And for this to be a handler, I need to have this method. Serve HTTP response writer and pointer to request. For this to be a handler, I need to have this method. Serve HTTP response writer pointer to request. So I drop that method in there. Whoop. And those are going to be from package HTTP. So I'm going to do just, I don't know, W for response writer, HTTP response writer. And then uh, request pointer to an HTTP request. And then do my code. I could do an io.write string, which takes a writer and it writes a string. And I could write that because HTTP response writer is a writer. How do I know HTTP response writer is a writer? HTTP response writer is an interface and it has this method, write slice a byte in error. Anything with write slice a byte in error write slice a byte in air, anything with write slice a byte in air, that method, what's an interface say? Jeff? What's an interface say? Jasmine, what's an interface say? says, if you got this method or these methods, you're my type. You are also my type. Is that joke not appropriate? Am I like a generation gap here that like I grew up in the 70s and you all are like, wow, that's a really inappropriate joke. Is that inappropriate? It's okay, right? It's super corny. It's super corny. It hurts to say it. Really? I think it's great. Hey baby, you got these methods. You're my type. <laughs> it is a little sleaze ball. So that response writer has this method, which means that response writer is fulfilling the writer interface which means that I could use IOWriteString, which asks for a writer and a string, and it will write that string to this writer, which is why it's called WriteString. So I could use IOWriteString and write that to that writer, which is my response. And then I just need to give it a string. What's up? I think better. Yeah, I think WhatsApp's fine. And if I wanted to, I don't know why you don't have to catch errors on some of these. <laughs> Int and error. I think because then if I wanted to write that error, I just get in a vicious loop of catching the error, writing the error. So I think that in the language you don't always have to write your catch your errors, write your errors if it's something that writes but returns an error. I don't know. So I'm not going to catch that error. I'm not even going to return anything and it'll be totally fine.
I got to learn that still somewhere. That's a question for me to ask my mentor, Bill Kennedy. IO right string. What's up? So listen and serve takes in an address. It takes a handler. A handler is a value of any type that has this method. So is 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 a uh, is this going to be is the value d a handler? Is d a handler? Let me remind you what a handler is. Is D a handler? Why? Okay, so this is how we read the code. You're absolutely right. There is a value D of type hot dog. Type hot dog has the method serve HTTP respond with a uh, two values as parameters, one value of type response writer and one value of type pointer to request. If a, a value of a certain, if a type has the method serve HTTP response writer pointer to request, then is also type handler. So since D is type hot dog and hot dog has this method, D is also type handler, which means I could pass it in there. So you could see here why understanding listen and serve and type handler is really essential to being able to start doing stuff with this code. I'm going to pause here so Z can look at it. <laughs> Good? Yeah, I'm not using R, am I? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Spirit of Adventure and Exploration. So far, so good. What's up? That's kind of cool. By understanding listen and serve and understanding type handler, we were able to kind of put that together and understanding interfaces. Now obviously that's a bit of a wonky way to create your web app, but we're moving our way into understanding some of the pre-built code. And to understand that, first we had to understand listen and serve and type handler. So the point of this video was to really kind of see what type handler is and to see start thinking about how you could just use that, knowing what you know about interfaces. And then in future videos, we're going to start to see some of the pre-built code, which makes us all look a little bit more elegant. But just take for a moment, just, just take a moment for a moment here and appreciate the genius of the people who put this together. I created this from an empty page. Simple, elegant components which can unplug and plug together in different ways to be used in different situations. Very clean, very simple, very elegant. It's like the master makes things essential and nothing more. It's like the essence, what you need and nothing more. It's really beautiful. 
Some really brilliant minds built this. It's no small thing, right? Like to get this just to be clean components that you could plug in, plug out, use in different ways. It's very modular. It's amazing. I have a very limited perspective of computer science, but my perspective is big enough to be able to look at this and, and marvel at the engineering and just be like, wow, that's really well built. You know, I mean, if you think about it, like you're going to create a programming language from scratch, and if you didn't know what you're doing, I mean, you end up with something like JavaScript. <laughs> you know? It's like, that's just like, a, I mean, that's an amazing feat. That's just like the average person creating a language. This is like created by really brilliant minds who are masters in this field. Top of the field. So it's really amazing. Cool, we're going to understand more of it in the next videos.